As you've probably heard, Matthew Perry died over the weekend. If you don't know who Matthew Perry is, he was the star, one of the stars of Friends. He played Chandler. This is a photo of him. And uh, he was very young. He was 54 when he died. Now, they haven't yet released the cause of death, but given the fact that he was vocally open about his addiction issues and the fact that he was found uh, dead in, a, in a, a hot tub seems to suggest it was probably drug related, which is very sad. And when actors who like are known for like one specific character, especially like a comedic character, sometimes when tragic things happen to them, uh, some people are going to go for uh, maybe some kind of a gallows humor. And Chandler on Friends was known for his catchphrase of could I be any more blank or could this be any more blank? And so there was a joke that basically everyone thought up once this was announced. And all I have to do is search it. And here we go. We had a bunch of people going, could I be any more dead? Now, it's tasteless, but I don't necessarily like begrudge people on this one. I, I wouldn't make this joke myself, although the joke did come to my mind because it's a very obvious joke to make in that regard. But that's not really why I'm talking about this, because if we scroll down, it's not just people making the obvious joke. Here we have old t-shirt slogan. Could I be any more vaccinated? New t-shirt slogan. Could I be any more dead? That's right. The uh, anti-vaxxer covidiots are latching onto this one. There has been a increasingly common theme among the COVID deniers and anti-vaxxers of looking at anybody who died from anything. It could be a car accident. It could be anything. And they're like, oh, was he vaxxed? And here we have this a tweet from Robbie Starbuck who says, Matthew Perry has died at age 54. The call was for a suspected cardiac arrest. While anything is possible, many will point out that Matthew was a big supporter of the COVID vaccines and even sold shirts saying, could I be any more vaccinated? So I think it's fair to ask that it be investigated as a potential cause of any cardiac issues. He's just asking questions, folks. He just he's just got his concerns. He's not claiming anything. He's just he, you know, he's just a concerned citizen. And maybe maybe it was the vaccine that caused him to die after a, a lifetime of substance abuse that he has been open about. Regardless of the cause, it's a tragedy. He brought joy to so many with his work, and I pray God surrounds his loved ones with peace. Gone way too soon. This is all just, that's just padding after the disgusting shit sandwich that, that this tweet is. It's one thing to make light of a public figure dying. Everyone does it to some degree in certain search situations. So like I said, I don't care about the could I be any more dead joke. It's tasteless, but there are worse things to care about. <laughs> but the COVID denialism, the anti-vax stuff, is so insidious and so tasteless, especially for somebody who has been so open about his struggles with addiction. Like here we've got this uh, article from The Hollywood Reporter. Matthew Perry spoke about how he hoped to be remembered. He said, I would like to be remembered as somebody who lived well, loved well, was a seeker. And his paramount thing is that he wants to help people. That's what I want. Perry told host Tom Power in an, uh, in, in an interview with, with Tom Power. At another point in their sit down chat, Perry was brought to tears when recalling how people have helped him through his disease through the years, particularly as he battled substance abuse for years, including the decade of superstardom as he starred on the iconic series. It's not fair. It's not that I had to go through this disease while the other five didn't. They got everything that I got, but I had to fight this thing and still have to fight this thing, he said. So just to end this on a good note, there are people who will help you and get their help. It doesn't go away. It never goes away. So like we know, I mean, like it, it, we haven't had like an official coroner ruling on it, but like this seems about as clear cut a overdose type situation as you can get. Somebody dying young, 54 is very young to die, and the fucking vultures who honestly are killing more people with their vaccine denialism. They latch onto this. Uh, it's, just, that just, it's just disgusting. But uh, I'm not going to let them have the last word. We have a statement from Matthew Perry's friends, his co-stars on the show friends and real life friends. We are all so utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew. 
We were more than just castmates, we are a family. There is so much to say, but right now we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. In time we will say more, as and when we are able. For now, our thoughts and our love are with Maddie's family, his friends, and everyone who loved him around the world. And it was signed by all five of his castmates. That's what you should take away. You should remember that he was a person who had struggles and had a strong network of friends that loved him and supported him. It wasn't enough to save him, but to blame it on the vaccines is disgusting and you should do better. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm trying to get my channel monetized, so your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like and subscribe and ring the bell. I stream every Monday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, so catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below, and thank you to all my patrons with a very special shout out to my Whale Shark tier patron Ryan D and my Anemone friend tier patron Piftlecakes. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.